I don't think that you need to be comfortable in life. I think having challenges or, or you know, whether they're self-imposed or brought to you by life, I think that that's what builds character. It makes you who you are. Did you ever think we'd get to this point? No. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly, I thought it was just one of those things that we talked about but never did. It felt like that because it was like when I first started, you know, we were packed then. We just got more and more packed. What does the reach mean to you in life and in business? Uh, it's a you should probably try to accomplish things that are a little bit too hard for you to accomplish. I think if you're not experiencing enough failure in life, you're not trying hard enough. I think it defines us as a company. It defines us as people. Um, you know, you, you can't succeed without certain risks. Uh, and if you're not reaching for that next goal, then you're not succeeding. You're maintaining. Um, and I think that, you know, that's what the world needs. That's what every hobby needs. That's what every situation deserves is a little bit of a dream and a little bit of a reach, you know? To reach and achieve your goals, to manifest what you want to achieve in life and reach for it and get there and don't stop. Just keep working as hard as you need to to get to where you want to be in life. The life that you want, you're going to have to reach for it. You can't just like think it and it's going to be. Like you have to reach for it. You have to go after it. You have to chase after it. So I guess to me it just means like what we've been doing the last, I don't know, three, four, five years, you know, we had this idea, we had this goal, and we've been reaching for it this whole time, and this is like, it hasn't been easy, but I don't know, this is, you know, how we got to this point, like the life in order to get to this point, I guess, if that makes sense. Hey, so this involves everybody. <clears throat> That's why I had you come down, Ash. I mean, you guys know we're six days until closing and it's like a do or die. The sellers have said we're not extending any further. Yeah. We got a call from the bank. They said that the underwriting process is done. They like all the numbers. Everything's good. They're going to send out a letter of conditional approval that says we're going to do it. But they will not be able to finish by the 20th. They said they're not going to extend. And these guys say, we can get you the loan, but it's going to take, that's one week away. They said it's going to take three weeks from today. There was a technicality and the title search guy was a little extra booked. He's like, hey, I need like one more week um, to get all this title search stuff clean and everything like that. And he told the sellers. So the sellers came to us and said, we need one more week to get this done. And that was the exact amount of time that it took for everything to fall in line at the bank. And it was like, boom, 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 signed, building is yours. Crazy, crazy. Did you ever think we'd get to this point? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I have full confidence in, I mean, I don't know how. Really. Okay, the fat, rewind three months ago. Did you ever think we'd get to this point right now? I knew that we would end up with the new facility. When, like right now, like if it, we would have gotten it by now, I don't know. But I knew we would eventually get a new facility, yes. How does it feel? It's really nice to be here. We really needed it. We needed this space. We needed this facility. It's really unreal that we're here, honestly. I knew eventually that we were going to get a facility. I didn't know if it was going to be this facility, but I'm really happy that it is because this place is honestly perfect for us. So growing up, I was always into exotic animals and reptiles, and all I ever wanted was to find a job working with reptiles. I put an ad on Craigslist to find this job. That's where Garrett found me, Craigslist. So I was even willing to work for free just to get my foot into the door. The whole reach for me was to become part of the reptile industry. And that's what this job has allowed me to do. The thing I've learned in life is that you'd be surprised how many times you don't fail when you thought you would. This building is one of them. I mean, you remember towards the end there, I felt like, oh, we're not getting that one. Tried too hard. Probably have to make a little pole barn or something. But 
turned out turned out good. I always wanted to do something full time in snakes. I, it was a, a goal of mine for the last 30 years. <laughs> uh, it's just something that never happened, and the perfect storm hit, and uh, you know, me and Garrett couldn't look the other way. We had to see this through, and now to come from there to this. Uh, that's just a, a huge, huge step in the right direction. Uh, I couldn't be happier for Garrett and Ashley and their family. Uh, I think this is going to be just something amazing. I'm happy in life. And I see how much fun it is just to be happy. Enjoy what you do. Enjoy the people that you're with. You know, you, it, it's so true that if you surround yourself with greatness, you strive for that greatness or reach for the greatness. <laughs> right. And that's what I want. I want everybody to reach for that. I want everybody to achieve that because it's, everybody I talk to and they ask me, what do you do for a living? And I tell them I do my childhood dream of breeding snakes. They're like, you're the only person I know that has that. And I'm like, what a shame. It's not about the paycheck. It's about doing what you love. And if you do that, you're just a better person all around, in my opinion. So even just being here at Reach Out Reptiles, making these videos um, is already like a reach in itself. The idea of just doing something that was completely outside my comfort zone and not something that I would have expected or planned at all. And just the journey here has been insane. And we still have a long ways to go. Like there's journeys definitely not over, but yeah, it's already been insane and taking me places I never would have expected. As far as what the future holds, what my next reach or what, I don't know, my future goals are, I have to come up with new ones because at this point I've already achieved the goals that I had set for myself for even the next five years. So I want to be back to the drawing boards. Even just the last two days of being in this new facility has already shown me just how much opportunity there is in a new space and just it really is exciting for me to see where we can take all of our reach out reptiles content where we can take this new content for us to be starting a vlog right now it's kind of like hey boom here we are in the middle you know we've done so much to get to this point and and purchasing this building was a tremendous step outside our comfort zone it was a huge reach as recently as about a month ago I was pretty sure we weren't gonna get the place, which is a big deal because we would have to just completely reinvent our direction, our lives, it would be a big loss and all that kind of stuff. But to be perfectly honest with you, we're always doing something like that. <laughs> we're always trying to accomplish or achieve something that doesn't seem like it should be possible, probably something that other people really haven't tried to do before or in a way that they haven't done it before. And uh, I don't know, I, I, feel like, I feel like if you're where you're supposed to be in life at any given moment, you're basically unstoppable. If you don't believe me, just sit back and subscribe. We'll show you.